G'day everyone, um, it's Tim here. I've just got done listening to the new Body Count album, Carnivore. And I think it's safe to say this is the best Body Count album since the 90s. This is a very, very, very excellent album. And if you've no body count or if you've you know heard the name and been interested by that sound if you're a fan of you know thrashy riffs and chunky breakdowns then you should get onto this album they've got the mix of the chunky riffs and the thrashy riffs on this one perfectly and the blend is fantastic you know with ice's you know delivery that's just inexplicably iced tea it all works perfectly the reason why I think this is the best album is uh, since the 90s is because of the wide range of influence on a regular body count album um, they can sometimes feel a bit awkward listening to it from start to finish and going from track to track because you know of there's so many unique takes going on here and as a listener you're sort of trained to hear certain things from certain styles you know Whereas this band will quite happily go from thrashy riffs and Iron Maiden guitar solos to, you know, big chunky stuff that you would normally see from like a, a nu metal kind of band. But with this one, they managed to get that flow perfectly. It's broken up where it needs to be. Um, and the, the slower songs that do break it up stand perfectly well on their own merits as well. Um, you know, so... Overall, this is a fantastic listen. The production is on point, as it would, as you would expect from a body count album. They've got a great cover on here from Ace of Ace of Spades, which they normally do a cover on a, on an album. So again, that worked really well. Um, the performance is fantastic. Some ripping guitar solos all over it. Um, there's some um, some guest vocals on here as well, and again, they add to the salt quality of the songs for the most part and you know the voices that they do to bring in like you know Jasta and Amy Lee and all that but again because Ice-T's got such a unique voice and he's such a unique metal singer they do contrast with him quite well and overall like everything just worked and came nicely um the other thing is you know I always have this discussion of you know when it comes to metal bands and hard rock bands and all that, you know, I feel lyrically we're all stuck in a little bit of a rut and we can do things a bit too cliche. You know, whether we're, uh, you know, singing about the parties and the drugs or gore or whatever. Body Count, with this album especially, or with all of our albums, but with this one as well, um, I feel like this is just guys singing about their lives and their experiences and things that they go through and how they're interpreting the world around them. I feel like I know a little piece of this band after listening to this album and listening to the lyrics. Again, there's a tribute to their friends on here. Again, as you said, there's a little tribute to Lemmy before Ace of Spades as well. They're singing about politics and, you know, um, the things that influence them and the things that get them riled up. And I, 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 I find it so goddamn refreshing, you know, and whether or not you believe it or you definitely believe that they believe it and again it over makes for one fantastic album so my highlights are point the finger bum rush another level and when i'm gone i'll give this a nine out of ten i think it's a fantastic album i think the cover art is as well again if you've not heard body count before you need to check the band out because um, they are fantastic at what they do so if you're a fan of things like you know suicidal tendencies or uh, Voivod or any kind of punky thrashy band like you should check them out if you're a, if you're a fan of the hard rock show you should check out this band because you're probably going to like it it's a new body of a cat album Carnivore